so we've just completed week one of the 10k training plan and in this video I'll be talking about the planning that we've done the strength and mobility that we've done and how we are getting ourselves ready for a foundation of a really strong 10k race so first of all it's all about the plan so we set up Runkeeper to race on the 17th of July and that means we've got eight weeks to do all of our preconditioning training and in the first week and actually the first two weeks it's all about building that foundation for later on doing longer and faster runs in this week there are just three runs a 3.1k surge run a 3k relaxed run and then a 5k long run and i'll explain a little bit about those I've seen from my previous training that it's really important during these foundational weeks to build up a pattern of strength and mobility as well as just running. When I started my journey in August last year doing Couch to 5K, it literally was get the trainers on and out the door and I'm gone. Whereas now I realise that the in-between days, the days that I'm not running, are just as important. So first things first. I see that by doing a three minute dynamic warm up before each run and a three minute cool down stretch mobility uh, after each run, I can't tell you how much my running is improved because of that. And the dynamic warm up goes really quickly. So I'll tell you a little bit about those exercises as well. Before that, guess what Dazzle did? So we were going to do this virtual run, right? We've got a little virtual group. We're going to do a virtual run with anybody in the group who feels like coming along. And then once we'd set our date, Dazzle went and found a race. A race, a race. So we are going to actually be running with other real people. <laughs> Sounds really weird. Uh, our, my first race, I think Dazzle's first race in school. And we're going to be doing a race on the 17th of July in London. How cool is that? Wow. Have to admit, at first, it frightened the life out of me. But then I thought, actually, that's going to be quite cool to be able to do that. It's even more important now to me to really use these, these weeks leading up to the run to get myself as fit and as confident as possible for that race. So each day, before I do a run, I run three times a week, and each day before I do a run, I'll do a three, three minute dynamic warm up. And what I mean by that is squats, planks, pl single arm plank raises, uh, arm swings, leg swings, Cossack squats, anything that really gets your hips and your groin and your body opening up and getting ready, warming itself up, warming those muscles up, ready to run. I don't know if you remember, but in some of my previous videos, I've talked about heavy lead legs. Well, that certainly disappears when you do the warm up. And then equally important is at the end of every run is to do the cool down. I was skipping out the walking cool down, for instance, and I found that to be really, really useful as a way of your body just realigning and adjusting itself back to a, a normal pace instead of just stopping. <laughs> anyway, the free runs this week, first one for me was a 3.1k surge run. And what that means is that you run in batches of surges at a fast rate and then a slow rate, a fast rate and a slow rate. And you do that eight times. And I found that I found it quite difficult to slow down to my really slow pace. So that's something I'm going to be working on is rather than just pushing, pushing is actually slowing down. The second one was a 3K relaxed run. So that's a run where I go at my slow pace, just enjoy the run, just stretching the legs, just being out there, breathing, getting into nature. I try to be mindful during that run, to so stay present with the run rather than thinking about work and all sorts of things. And that gets the body used to recovering and just get it, getting, getting it out there. And then the third run was a 5K long run, again at a relaxed pace, 
so just just stretching that distance a little bit further and the brilliant thing was that Dazzle came up from London to come and run with me so we did a little run together. In between those runs there are the other days where I will do strength and stretching so one day I might do uh, virtual reality boxing or a Tabata strength routine for 30 minutes or have some time on the indoor bike and once or twice a week a nice long yoga session where I can really stretch out and I can do that on my rest days or a nice long walk you know just a gentle walk on the rest days and what that does is that gives the body all these different sort of exercises and different ways of moving so that it's not just getting used to just getting out there and run. You're switching the glutes back on, you're switching the hamstrings on, you're switching all of those muscles on that are going to help you move forward. And I've certainly seen that it helps to increase performance and reduce the possibility of injury. Certainly, I have learned that part of the planning is all about consistency. So choosing the days that I'm going to run and running on those days, even choosing the time of day. So I like to run in the morning, for instance. That way I just get up, I do what I need to do, I go for a run, it's done. And I know that I'm going to be doing that so I can't make all these excuses to myself about why I shouldn't. And the other tip that I've picked up is to have a goal for the actual race itself so yes okay i'm going to be running 10k so what's the um, other goal the secondary goal it could be to run non-stop it could be to beat your personal best it could be to have fun <laughs> while you're running so my goal is certainly to run non-stop and to beat my personal best so i want to do the 10k in one hour and 14 and my best 10k so far is one hour and 15 minutes and two seconds so if you're coming along with me which i hope you do choose a plan that works for you choose a goal that you want to achieve set your days when you're going to run and then do some good strength and mobility in between those days let me know in the comments how you're getting on and what your goals are and I'll see you very soon. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Lots of love. Bye.